stubborn. You aren't very good at talking to girls. Taped glasses. Socially awkward. Weirdos. You know, living in your parents' basement. I think they'd just be little kids. Bad at sports. Not true. I want to be the kind of superhero that stands up for truth, justice, and the American way. Makes lots of money and gets lots of girls. When you hear nerd, I think it's kind of always coupled with comic. Like geek and nerd, you think comic books and glasses. And this one, the, the Batman was my, this was my first tattoo, and I've always wanted just a Batman symbol on my arm. I was gonna add more to it, like here. You know, why not be my own comic book, you know? Who's my favorite? Spider-Man. Second favorite? Human Torch. Third favorite? Oh, we're we talking superhero comics specifically? One of the comics had a contest. Guy Gardner was a former Green Lantern, and in that issue, he opened up a themed uh, sports bar with over 50 superheroes, and the contest was to name as many of them as he could, and the winner would get to appear in a comic book. President, I think he likes comics. I went to a comic store the other day, they have an Obama picture. He's supposed to be a superhero, he's got his shirt open up, and he's got an O on his chest for Obama. And we're back! This is Elliot Serrano and Jose Melendez coming to you from Dreamline Comics in Schaumburg, Illinois. Well, Comic Culture Warrior, or we call it CCWTV, is a show that we have on YouTube. It's myself and my co-host, Jose Melendez, where we pretty much offer our own opinion on comic books, the industry, and the medium in general. When I told people I had thousands of comic books, they looked at me strange. Like, you don't look like the kind of guy who has comic books. My name is Jai Nitz. I'm a comic book writer. Uh, I, I just wrote a book called Tron Betrayal, which is the in betweenquel that goes between the original Tron and the new Tron legacy. You know, I all wear superhero stuff and like shirts or jewelry, and they they think it's ridiculous and they don't I, they have no clue that I actually really know everything about that superhero and love them. You know, so because a lot of girls haven't always been seen as being comic book nerds. The perception that people have of the kind of people comic book geeks are, you know, like. You know, they probably think I want to talk about Klingon war vessels all the time. When I was really little, my dad was like, he wants to read. Great, give him a comic book, let him read. And then uh, I started collecting comics. Like, these are worth money, I'm going to collect them. And my dad was like, this is great, he's going to pay for his college one day. He's collecting these comics, they're going to be worth a ton of money. And then I'm like, I'm going to go to college, I'm going to go to film school because I want to be a comic book writer. And he's like, I've ruined my son's life. Why the Last Man, um, big fan, a uh, big fan of B. Clay Moore, like Hawaiian Dick, uh, Expatriate. I like, I don't like all zombie comics, but I, do, I really do like most of the stuff Tony Moore does. A lot of people are surprised, a lot of people are surprised that I read comics or own them or have them or they're very shocked to hear me start talking about um, artists and comics and characters and so a lot of people, I think, assume uh, girly girls don't, don't like comics. 20 grand, if not 30. If not more, you know, I haven't counted. I haven't counted in a long time. I keep them all cataloged, so every issue that I read, I pick up, you know, my composition book and I write down, you know, I look for my Uncanny X Men or whatever section and I write down issue two, whatever, or three, whatever, make a a brief synopsis of what happened in that comic, you know, maybe like a sentence, and then store it, move on. Anybody can be a nerd, and somebody that's really obsessed with one thing. Uh, I guess the Japanese use the term otaku that has similarly negative uh, inflection there, which is like somebody that's hyper obsessed with something. You can be a Gundam otaku, just like you can be a comic book nerd. Uh, but I think you can be a sports nerd too, the guy that knows all the stats. If you go to a comic book convention, you're going to see people dressed up in their Captain America tees, their Spider-Man t-shirts, people in costume. You look at comic book nerds and people want to look down on them for that. Go to the Cubs convention. Go to any sports convention. How do the people go dress to those things? Crickets. Um, Iron Man, and then probably sneak into the top five. <sighs> I hate to say one of the X-Men. Nightcrawler. Oh, he's a car aficionado. Well, he gets car and driver, and he gets, you know, road and track, and he knows everything there is about the new Volkswagen Baron. And you're like, oh, he's a car aficionado. Well, he's a car nerd. He's as much a nerd as I am. He just knows more about 12-cylinder engines than he does about Apache Chief. I guess anything 
that you can feel passionate about, like any kind of medium, like music or art. Uh, uh, you can, there's probably a nerd for everything that you can do. Taurus car, my zodiac sign is Taurus, so I made up Taurus man.